<laughs> I have Scott Mellenby. Obviously, you heard me hint about that. But he's the guy that, <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. He's the guy that the uh, that started the whole rat craze. Yeah, and that was ridiculous. That was he just flicked a rat across the yeah. dressing room or something. <laughs> like, who Why are there that? rats in the dressing room? I don't know. I don't like know. I worked at a Chinese restaurant in Belleville when I was in grade nine. There was rats in the kitchen. Yeah. Why are there rats in a professional hockey team's dressing room? Rink rats. Yeah. Puck bunnies. Hey. Hey. Lot lizards. <laughs> Perhaps we've gone too far. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have uh, Troy Loney. Troy Loney here as an Islander. I do not remember Troy Loney as an Islander. I remember he was a longtime Pittsburgh Penguin, uh, and I believe he's the first captain of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks in their sounds right history of their franchise. That's cool. In fact, oh look at this guy. Troy was named the first captain of the Mighty Ducks history and shared the team lead with six power play goals. Six. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. Easy. Easy up. Not all at once. Jocelyn Tebow. Didn't I just... <laughs> yes, <he laughs> Didn't did. I just say? Wasn't it Tebow? Uh, here uh, with... Wow, look at his generic... <laughs> Johnny Blue over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> no crap. No crap. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, he may have gone with that trade with Patrick Waugh. We may have. <laughs> Either way, one of these two guys did. Him or feces. But uh, Tebow, he was all right, and he ended up uh, later on in his career going to Pittsburgh. And yeah. I mentioned uh, way And he played in Chicago, on. too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, had some good years. But uh, I remember hearing uh, my buddy SJ, he's a big Pens fan, and he sent me an article. SJ Crew? SJ Crew. And uh, said... They had an article in Pit in Pittsburgh, in like the Pittsburgh paper, saying that they just signed Tebow, and they actually like spelt it out how some of these ca cars do it, like the, uh, the like T B O O. <laughs> That's how you say it. Tebow, which is hilarious and whatever. But hey, Justin Tebow, I liked him back in the day. Hey, well, I like my last guy. Hell's yeah. Uh, the Russian rocket Pavel Bure. <sighs> Pavel Bure, back to back awesome. sixty goal seasons for the Canucks. He scored 58 and 59, or 59 and 58 for the Panthers. Won the first one or two Rockets well, once the trophy so. started. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Had an amazing career. Um, isn't in the hall yet. Uh, I don't know if he'll get there. I, I think he will. Um, I think some of these guys, like him and Oates, obviously this year Linderos is coming up, and these guys are going to slide in. At some point, maybe not first ballots. They might have to sit out like Robbie Alomar did. I don't know why I'm doing this on the table. But um, but he didn't spit on any referees. Nope. A la Robbie Alomar. But anyway, no, Pavel, you know, they had the Cornicola, awesome. we had the Cornicola thing. Yeah. Because we think we talked about it with Fedorov. Um, obviously, his brother's married to Candace Cameron. Throw that out there. Yep. Um, did he have some problems with the Russian mafia or I extortion? So. Or yeah, he was giving him and McGillney giving some money issues. to yeah. And is is he the like the GM of Russia's team? Is he? He might be. Yeah, he's involved. Him he's something, or there. he was. I yeah. know Tretiak is heavily involved now. I don't want to talk about. But him I love Beret. He was. I loved him. He was he amazing was awesome yeah. to watch. And never saw a guy pick up so much speed after he picked oh, up the puck. Fuck, he is quick. The goal he scored where he bounced it off his own skate. Oh, I can't remember man. who it was against, but he's the coming in. Move? Basically, a breakaway. Do whatever you want. Brings it back off his own skate. That's my move, eh? That's yours? That's my move. Copyrighted that move in ball hockey. Who stole it from him? He stole it from me. Fucking ass, eh? After he scored it, my buddy in Peterborough called me and said, Burry, just, you, you just <laughs> used your foot move. But yeah, he did it way smoother. My last boy is Greg Johnson. That foot move is I know Dickity All. This looks like his rookie card. Greg Johnson, yeah. But I... I shh, nothing. You? He's a Red Wing there, eh? He's a winger. Yep. Thunder Bay. Yep. Up at the Stalsies. Played some years. Where is he now? I have no idea. Greg Johnson. He played in Nashville, did he not? I watched in Nashville. No, he did, he's not in Nashville anymore. Is he... I don't know, man. I don't know either. Either way, we're going to roll out some three stars. He's got back of the wings now. Where is he now? I hung up on Greg. I'll leave him there for you. You can study his face. No, that's going to bug me now. Three star selection is brought to you by Ice Hot Hockey. And this week we have an 0809 
Jordan and Eric Stahl, Upper Deck Black Marks of Obsidian Dual Autographed Card. It's a numbered card out of just 10. Just like the Kopitar card last week. This is These are amazing. And uh, So head over to Ice Hot Hockey and buy it now today. And remember, for the hardcore NHL fan, it's 100% hockey cards at Ice Hot Hockey. I gotta pick my tree. You can have an all goalie duo out there. I know. Right? Well, you know me. I don't like to put the special cards in. Although the goalie, a couple of goalie ones here are Ooh. prospects. I don't care that much. But I'm leaving the Phil Housley Power and the Mark Messier Tool out. Maybe I could be like I could have it all three Essatikin, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm almost sick of seeing Essatikin. Mm, that was weird. That was weird. All right, I'm going to. All right, all right. I'll uh, go. I better ahead. go this way. I'll go ahead. Me. Fuck you. I'll, I'll go, go ahead while you play uh, the okay. shell game. Okay, for me, third star is Bill Ranford with a stellar career. Second star, I'm giving it to the guy we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Pavel Bure or Pavel Burr. As my one buddy called him one time when we were doing a hockey draft. I'll take Pavel Burr. Okay, you will be winning the draft. <laughs> and uh, first star, I'm giving it to Ducky. The Hall of Famer, other than Messi, the only Hall of Famer, I think, in my pack. Dale Howard Chuck. Riding and owning his horses in King City or Vaughn or wherever he is. Number... Oh, you know what? <laughs> Screw you. Number three, Chris Osgood. Sorry, buddy. Future Hall of Famer. Yeah. That'll spark a good one. Uh, number two, Doug Waite. I really liked him back in the day. Yeah, I liked Doug I Waite. watched a lot of games with Ronnie, and I was all about Dougie. Yeah. When he had Bill Guerin out there? Oh, yeah. <sighs> and Matt Sundin. And him with, like... <laughs> and Matt Sundin. And him with, like, Book Booger. Back in, oh, man, they're... Oh, yeah. Good. I like them. Yeah. When Cujo was there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Heck, yeah. Cujo making that save on Neuendijk, and then Marshawn going down scoring. Yeah. Yeah. On Moog. Thanks very much for watching. Just a few days away is National Hockey Card Day. All across Canada, you can head out to your local hobby shops and pick yourself up a free pack of hockey cards straight from Upper Deck. One day only, exclusive set. You bring a buddy and you're going to get yourself a second pack. Your buddy has to not collect hockey cards already, but I'm sure you could probably talk to the guy behind the counter into giving you the second pack. Just saying. I'm just saying, who's bringing their hockey card collection? Uh, it's also oh, Hockey yeah. Day in Canada, which is out in Stratford. We're going to try our best to get out there. We're going to try to shoot a show yep. out in Stratford. So, uh, a location show. Cross your fingers, because hopefully you'll see that next week. Okay, sure. Thank you very much for watching. Twitter.com slash hockey card. Twitter.com slash dink9966. And Facebook.com slash the hockey card show. I got a question for you that I've thrown out uh, once or twice before, and I'm going to throw someone else in there. Chrissy. No, I won't do that. Screw it. Um, JR just, just celebrated a 40th birthday. Congrats, JR. Between Jeremy Ronick and Cujo, both guys kind of on the bubble, who's going to get into the Hall of Fame first? Wow, good question. Good question. I'll let you think about that. Oh, I don't know. You think. You leave a comment. Oh, I'll leave a comment. You I'm going to throw a second one out. Double questions. Not that I really care, because he's U.S. born. Do you think Phil Housley deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? There you go. He's played the most amount of games without winning a Stanley Cup. Poor bugger, eh? In the history of the league. <laughs> Does there that you qualify go. you for the anything? History. The history. I'm going to go with the... Uh, oh, man, I don't even know. See? It's a good one. Maybe... Maybe Cujo. Just for the wins and the most losses. <laughs> Neither one of them have any hardware, right? Neither no. one of them have won anything. I don't think so. Both had... Decent, like really good careers, but anyway, we yeah, could, we could debate it all. We could sit here all day. Thanks again, guys. Cheers, enjoy the games, and uh, we'll see you next time. Don't watch us. You're a monster, Jay.